Here we see the increment run and end list comparison operator when it hits for the loop ends. Code ends up outside of the indentation and that is the code. We can control the looping of a while statement by using boolean comparison operators. Now, a while loop can be used with any boolean, but it's common to use it with a boolean screen test to make sure that our input is in the format that we want. An example of a format that, might, that we might want is just a first name. And so, in the first example here, we define a variable called student, which is f name standard for first name, and just give it an empty string. And then we have a boolean string test in a while loop. Here we are gonna check if the student first name is alphabetical characters. And if that is false, then we're gonna run the code to get input for the name. Because once it's true, then we have an alphabetical character name, and then we can print it out with this statement below. Let's run this code. If I put in Vitaly space capital S, that fails. A fail here of this test is equal to false. And so the code runs again and gets input. The problem here is that a space is not an alphabetical character. So we're just looking for a first name and although this isn't always true, that first name don't have spaces. Just for the purposes of this task, we want to illustrate that. So now I can just enter Vitaly with no spaces. And then I get my greeting. Vitaly has been entered as first name. In this second example, we have a while loop that wants all of the input in uppercase. We just did the same thing we did in the last loop where we check if this is false. If the message is upper, it returns false. Then we keep going in the loop. And the way that we compared it this time is we said it's not equal to true. So, and so the case is when I put in high and lower case, that's false. And that is not equal to true. So when it happens, then this code below will be run. So I'll keep doing the input until I go in upper case. So let's run that. Sorry, I can do, please. Repeat, sorry again. So now the message is received. Finally, that's an example where we want a number input. And we say enter a positive integer. This is a case where is digit works very well. Is digit will return as false if you enter a decimal point or a minus sign and so only number. Numeric characters can be entered to have this be true. As long as is number returns false, then it is not true, and the code below runs. So let's run that code. I'm gonna go 3.3 minus 5 and even a number written in text. Finally, I'll just put in 34, which is a positive integer. We can use while loops to keep running through at input to get the proper format that we need for our code.